The opioid crisis is felt in cities big and small. Anyone from teens to older adults, career professionals to those who have fallen on hard times can find themselves addicted. But there is a road to recovery. In this final piece of my three-part series, I have visited with Rosecrans Jackson Centers to learn more about addiction recovery. We're seeing a lot more people with opioid addiction than we saw even two years ago. Rosecrans Jackson Centers is a leader in helping those fighting many types of addiction, but one they are treating more of is opioids. People with opioid addictions are people who struggle with a, a dependence both physiologically and psychologically on various opioids, and there's a lot of different opioids. The one that we're seeing the most overdoses from nowadays is fentanyl. The nationwide opioid crisis hit a deadly peak in 2022, killing a record number of Americans. Fentanyl played a big part in that. And a lot of the overdoses are happening because people think, oh, I'm buying some Xanax on the street or some meth, but it's laced with, with, with fentanyl. And that's how people are dying. Fentanyl is just one piece of the opioid puzzle. Opioids are a common prescription drug for treatment of many injuries and ailments. It's also commonly found on the street. But no matter how someone was first introduced to an opioid, addiction can happen to anyone. Sometimes people are just shocked, like there's no addiction in my family. How did I get on this? And the, uh, the very addictive qualities of the people with opioid addiction, doesn't matter if you got it from the healthcare professional, from the pharmacist, from the internet, from the street, addiction doesn't care. Iliff says that while Rosecrans Jackson treats people of all ages and backgrounds. Most of those people were in the 18 to 44 age range. So they're, they're not the teens, they're not the older adults, but they're the, the working adults, the people in our society that are out there and they're supposed to be doing life and at the top of their careers and they're dying because of opioid addiction. Recognizing the addiction and admitting you have a problem is one of the biggest steps in recovery. And recovery isn't linear. Relapse is not inevitable. It's not inevitable. But for some people, it is a part of their process. And anyone can find themselves dependent on opioids. Opioid addiction, just like any addiction, is no respecter of persons. It doesn't care if you're in the middle of the city, if you're in the inner city, or if you're on the farm. But recovery is no respecter of persons either. It, it can happen to anyone, so we encourage you to call for help. If you or someone you love is fighting addiction of any kind, there are resources to help aid in recovery and for family and friends to best support their loved ones, too. I will have those resources from Rosecrans Jackson Centers linked in this story on our website, SiouxLandNews.com. You can also call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Hotline at the number on your screen, that number 1-800-622-HELP.